Well, welcome to Killer7, possibly the weirdest game I have ever played. Unfortunately, I'm not the one who's going to be playing it, and Colin is, and he's getting something at the moment. So, we'll continue as soon as he gets back. Hello. I'm going to be playing this game. I, I got back and plugged in everything in. I prefer having reverse controls. But you have to go there every time you start out the game if you want to change it up. We're going to be playing a new game on normal. Because Deadly is practically impossible. And the only reason why you're able to really play it on Killer 8, which is what you unlock later, is primarily because... Was that a spoiler? Well, you unlock no. Killer 8 later. It's because you play as a character with a machine gun. And that's pretty awesome. What does that kanji mean? Well, Tom no idea. Well, Tommy okay. gun, actually, but yeah. <laughs> Let's watch the cutscene. Is there a cutscene? Yeah. Yep. There is at the beginning at of At the level. beginning of every level, there's a moon who fl that flashes four times in d d different colors. This one's blue. I every level is a different color. I guess once in a blue moon. Ha ha ha. That's I'm sorry. A that's, that's, the be that's the first thing that came to my mind when I played the game. This is Garcia. This Garcin's awesome. Yep. This guy's not as awesome. No, Christopher Mills is awesome. His his accent is really cool. Oh come on, Garcin is better. Look at him! Sorry his face. Christopher Mills is Garcin's informant. So I assume that was him passing information. Mm-hmm. Yep. You see, Garcin is the um is basically the um the the manager of the Killer Seven. Yep. And Everyone! And Sorry. So, That's just what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. I think this is a, a joke of Abbey Road or something. I don't think it is, because Abbey Road goes the other direction. Oh. Well, if I recall, the Beatles are pretty big in Japan. Of course they are. But, like... Me. So, you there yet? You mean this shit That's where they all hang out. Our information tells us that there's 14 of them. And they're all fun. Ah. Uh, keep one alive so we can ask who their boss is. Anything else I should know? Eh, not really. You'll know when you see them. They're, uh, different. We'll do. Well, may the Lord smile. And the devil have mercy. And thus the game begins. He said it backwards, kitties. Don't repeat that. This game is rated M. It has everything. And... Well, we're going to be showing... It had a subtitle. It had a subtitle! I never it said, it said like, Battle at the Celtic Building or something. We're in, this is assignment number 33. Oh yeah, by the way, the um, zoom on... My, my, the focus on my camera is going to go a little nuts with this game, so please, bear with us. Um... Should we have it like... If, 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 I would normally show the controls, but I know how to con how to control it, and I'll just explain it. You okay? This is an on rail shooter adventure. There's no real other way to describe it. The um, you move or move forward on a rail with the A button. You tur quick turn. You turn around with the B button. If you turn, if you press B while running, you do a quick turn, which makes you turn around faster. Um. Some reviews I've seen you have it said that you actually have to stop and turn, but obviously they never played around with the controls or looked at the manual. Um, yeah. You don't want to go any further. You do have to. So it's dangerous. My friends are all dead. They were all murdered by people that look like this. I have been chosen. That's the main enemy of the game. The heaven smiles. <laughs> Not that one in particular, but yeah. Oh, yeah. My friends are all dead. Those bastards are breathing. Dan Smith. 
He's the man. He is the man! As is said, said by a character later on. <laughs> it's Dan Smith, the man! But yeah, the oh, heavens... Maybe that too. Okay, you hold... This is sort of like... I'm, I'm guessing that this was based on... That this was made on with the same engine. I don't know. This was made... I, I'm, I'm guessing this is made by this, with the same engine. Oh. In the original Japanese version, all these remnant sites spoke um, in English, but they... You can still kind of hear it, too, under the filter. Yeah, they, um, the American translators decided to put it under a filter in order to make it a little bit more ghostly and make it a little less weird with the whole English thing, and then put subtitles on. The red bar. I guess also in a sense that also because Garcian has the vision ring, I'll show you in a, well, I guess I can't show you, but, um... It becomes it, important later, so you'll see it anyway. Yeah, it's, it's on, it, you can see it right on the start menu at the very beginning. Should I say the subtitles since, um, the camera may not, like, them? The camera can pick up subtitles. Oh, the, the oh. camera's fine with that, it's just changing screens might, might screw up the, the focus a little bit. This is the Harmon's room. You can go into it over here. And talk to Iwazaru in a in a um extra get. We'll be pl we'll be um posting all of them without us talking. So um yeah. You can look forward to that. Yeah. Here's Samantha. You say hi to you Samantha. you can um. She saves your game. Yeah. Well, when she feels like it. Yeah, only when she feels like it, and you'll see what we mean later on. When she's wearing that maid's uniform, she'll save it. Hang on, technical difficulties. There we go. Yay. Okay. Um, yeah. Just save, like, file. I'll just save seven. here. Fine. Two. Two, two. is fine, too. Mm -hmm. So you can remember which one it is. Awesome. Um, and then here's the TV. If you go up to the TV, you can have access to... Well, this comes up. The stuff. blood room. The blood room. You gain blood, and then you're able to put it into here. And you. Okay, then it'll start doing it. If you rotate the C stick, uh, or the control stick, or the A button, or whatever, um, then it will make it go faster. Here are your personas. You have to defeat certain amounts of enemies before you can wake them up. But, Later. like right now we have Con Smith. Later. What did you say? Coyote Smith. I think that Con is... Katie. Can I stop it? I changed my makeup. Did you notice? Ah, uh, man. They never noticed. They say something different in every level. Uh, yeah, uh, Wait here. Don't make me say it again. Uh, I'm a cleaner. Garcia Smith. He says a, a fuller version of this whenever I'm you use cleaner. him. He's a cleaner. He basically, um, he's not very strong, but if you die in a level, then he, then what? you have to play through it again. And um, you have to play through part of it again since uh, from the last Harmon's room you visited. You don't necessarily have to save it, but yeah. we just If you die, Garson's role becomes apparent. Yeah. Why are you going that way? I'm probably not going to die in this just because I died a total of once when I was fooling around um, last time I played this game. But Whereas on um, Deadly Mode, it's, it's a little the easier right to die. Enemies. Well, when you scan on the PS2 <laughs> version, here's an enemy. Okay, the, well, the main gameplay is you you can, you can either shoot them like normal, but or you can shoot their limbs off or get the critical the weak, point. Yes, in the weak spot. Which was that yellow thing. The weak spots are always obvious in video games. Just play the game.